So I read that Max Landis wrote the script on spec. Um, yes. Dedicating it to J.R.R. Tolkien and to you because you are one of his biggest stylistic influences. How did that feel and what was your first impression of that script? I don't read a lot of scripts. Uh, so it was kind of unusual uh, to actually get a script. My agent gave it to me. He's like, you have to read this. I'm like, no, please no. And, and I saw the cover page and, 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 and I, was very, I was very honored. And, and I just started reading. I think by page 10, I was like, this is special. There's something here that's very interesting. And by the time I finished it, I knew I could make this movie. When you're creating a completely new world, um, how do you decide the grammar? How do you decide that the elves can fight like this or the orcs will treat each other in this way? How do you get to that? It's, it's piece by piece. It slowly comes together. Um, you know, with the elves, uh, my fight coordinator, we, we realized that, you know, they're much stronger, they move different. What would that look like? How do you create uh, a, a fight language for that? And, and the idea was that um, it would be much more acrobatic and fluid and, and have a, a, a much, uh, a different body awareness and strength. More dancer-like? Uh, yeah, more, more dancer-like, more elegant and flowing. And, you know, and, and me for the orcs, because they're um, this sort of oppressed, class, you know, and they're outsiders, they're going to connect. They're going to um, respect their own traditions. They're going to be outsiders uh, that, that have their own world. And, and I wanted to capture the richness of that and, and the joy of their own community. So do you sort of, as a director, write a backstory for them that this is what they would not do and this is what they would do? I, I don't necessarily write it out, uh, although sometimes I do. I, I sort of understand it. But it's in your it. head? It's in my head and I try and communicate it to the crew and they, they scratch their heads and walk away and, and now it's their problem and they have to figure it out. But, uh, and, and that is a bit of the problem. I like to keep it mysterious when I, when I make a movie. I don't, I don't want everyone to know everything that's going on. Um, it keeps people very sharp. Earlier this year, David, you wrote a very heartfelt message on Twitter about mm. the lessons and, and your experience with Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. So what were really the things you took away from that experience that you applied to this film? A lot of it, it's just make sure the story works, make sure the bad guy works. You have to have a fantastic villain. The villain is, is the pressure that our heroes feel. I wanted to do such a good job to redeem myself as, as a filmmaker. Um, you know, I wanted to make something that I can feel proud of that's mine. I wanted to make something for me um, and also for the audience. And you've said that this, with Bright, you had that freedom to make something that you mm -hmm. really wanted to. You said I spent, it was more time on creativity rather than spreadsheets. Yes, exactly, <laughs> so, exactly. Uh, what, what were some of the things you could do with this film um, that you wouldn't have been able to if it was with a studio? Uh, anything. Which, which is scary because what happens is, is, is you have so much responsibility on your shoulders. And, because and of the freedom? Because of the freedom. You know, so your time isn't spent in meetings. Um, you have no one to blame but yourself in a way. So it's a lot of responsibility. And, and because this is the largest film that Netflix made, I wanted to make something really entertaining with a lot of heart. Um, you know, so it has the humor and the action and, and the drama. So it was, it was very important for me to have an accessible movie, the movie that, that, that anybody can watch. And there's no part of you that ever sort of wishes that you could see it on a big screen? Uh, it, it's, it's going to have a theatrical release. It, it will be in some theaters. But it, it really is about um, sharing this with the world at the same time, at the same moment. 190 different countries in every language around the world no film this large has ever been released like that. So as a filmmaker, it's, it's a real honor to be a pioneer in such a new space. It's very exciting. Congratulations and thank, thank you. you. Thank you.